Good morning, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today I'm going to show you how to create credits in iMovie. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm using a MacBook Pro. I'm in the computer version, obviously, of iMovie. As I always tell you in all of my uh, iMovie tutorials, you obviously have to open iMovie first, which for me it's in the dock, this right here. If it's not in the dock, you can find it in the launch pad, okay? So when people ask the question, how do I create credits in iMovie? They're usually referring to like the scrolling credits or whatnot at the end. Those are called titles, okay? So I would go to titles and the traditional credits where they scroll, there's actually a template for that right here. Scrolling credits, okay? If you wanna do something less traditional where credits just pop on the screen one title at a time, you can use any of these other title templates, okay? For the purpose of this video, we're gonna use the traditional scrolling credits. You would click those and you would drag them to a blank area or the end of your video traditionally or the start of your videos, usually where you put credits, usually for scrolling ones at the end. You'd put those at the end of your video, okay? You also, if you choose to, you could put those on top of a video and the credits could scroll over the top of a video if that's what you choose to do, okay? I'm gonna keep them at the end of the video, all right? So by default, it's gonna be nine and a half seconds long. I can go to the end of it. So let's say this credits are scrolling too fast or too slow. I want them to go at a different speed. I can adjust that by coming to the end and making it longer or shorter. If I need more space, I can zoom out right here okay longer or shorter if it goes longer they'll scroll slower if it goes shorter if the duration goes shorter they'll scroll faster okay so you choose what speed you like for the credits and then it's just a template so you would double click and just change the names Producer, click and select, click and drag is how I do it. Director, you could change the font right here if you chose to. Okay, I'm going to leave it alone. You could play with the boldness and outline different things like that all right so i would just do that to every line on it if if i didn't have as many okay if i didn't have as many i could just click and drag to the last one and i could delete it if i'm not going to use as many credits as the template has and same thing, let's say the template doesn't have enough credits. What I would do is I would copy so that they match. I'd select and copy, Command C, and then I'd click here and click Enter to go to a new line, and I'd paste this again, Command V to paste. Okay, and that will paste a copy of that name. And the reason it's not centered is because I have to select it, and I have to do a Center Justify. And I don't know why. I guess there is no center justified. That's weird. How is it doing this? It's just a tab. Okay, they're just tabbing. All right. So I'd go to the start of this new line and hit tab. And there you have it. That's how you would add more to it or less to it to the credits and that's how you create credits the traditional scrolling credits in iMovie go ahead and stick around check out I've done over two dozen other iMovie tutorials there's a playlist in the link or go to my channel and check out some other videos have a great day